Thank you very much, everyone. And uh, as this is how it says, welcome to our folk, our folk night as part of the Arts Festival. Um, this is, well, certainly in my eight years at Strath, the first night we've had dedicated to traditional music uh, here in David Pickle's room, so I'm really excited to have you all here to listen. Uh, that was a set of jigs played by our folk band who have been working tirelessly with uh, Mr Howie over the last few months. Um, and, uh, well, hopefully it was a good going set to uh, get you in the mood for tonight. So the next up we're going to have uh, Sophie, who's going to sing a beautiful song called The King's Shilling. And you really, if you try and listen to the words here, it's really stunning um, about uh, uh, a man going off to fight in the First World War, I think. Um, yeah, and if you know the song, at a folk concert, you are allowed to sing along to the chorus, in the chorus. So I probably will be up the back. Um, so uh, yeah, please feel free to do that. But here's Sophie.
I don't mind putting that away. Well done, Sophie. That was absolutely beautiful. Um, what a great song. And amazingly well sung. Uh, so next up, I was, I was going to say actually, um, lots of traditional songs. There's a lot. There's a lot of death going on there. So, <laughs> so I'm happy that the next song is um, a bit more upbeat as well. And Ava's going to come and sing a song called "The Ramblin' Rover." <laughs> Ramblin' Rover is about. Uh, it's from the the side of a lady who basically went off or goes off with a with a, a random rover with a, a bit of a, a drunkard and travels all over Scotland and has a and has a great time doing it.
Lovely, really great, really great. Oh, I think we can actually breathe because we're firing through these and they're so good. Um, I'll actually just tell you when I was talking about the keys there. This is a classic folk concert because I've actually got my keys written down a little post it notes up here. All the other, all the other papers just need to look organised. Um, so, next up, we have a lovely set uh, on the fiddle from Ashley. And Ashley is from Gearlock and just joined us at the school this year. Um, she's been doing all sorts of traditional music, but lots of other styles of music as well. Um, very talented on the fiddle. And I was actually up examining at Gearlock High School and the, the head of music there couldn't wait to tell me that, um, that she knew Ashley and she was so excited for her to be down here at Strath asking how she was getting on, so I passed on how well she was doing uh, to the head of music. So, here we go, Ashley playing a few reels on the on the fiddle.
amazing. What I love about Strathallan pupils is, well, they were great at the rehearsal today, and then you come to the gig and they just absolutely smash out the park. <laughs> amazing. Um, so next, um, we have Misha, who's going to sing a very well-known Scottish song called The Dark Island, um, which is really beautiful. So we'll have get Misha up now.
we're supposed not to smile about it, it's absolutely stunning. So we're going to finish off our first half uh, tonight with uh, James, who's going to come and sing a song called The Greenland, the Greenland Whale Fisheries. And it's a favourite song of mine and actually of all the, the, the folk band, it's become a bit of a favourite of theirs too. James is a multi-instrumentalist, played the great band last night and uh, he's, he's, we don't often hear him sing, but we should because he's, he's excellent. So James is going to come up now and uh, give us your hand.
Brilliant, thank you very much to the folk band for that one. Uh, next, we've got another treat for you because Angus, Angus over here, who is um, in third form, is going to play a, a set of bagpipes, but not a set of bagpipes that you'll be used to hearing at Stratan. He's got a set of small pipes, um, which are much more appropriate for a room like this. Um, although, having said that, if you were at the Python recital last night and drumming recital last night, um, it was really it was amazing in here as well. So Angus is going to play a few tunes for you on the small pipes. Um, and uh, the first tune he's going to play is called Hector the Hero, which is a very famous uh, backpack tune. Uh, and then he's going to go into a couple of jigs. And I don't seem to have it there in front of me. So what's the first one called, Angus? <coughs> the first jig? Uh, out of the year. Out of the year. Excellent. And then tell, tell the other guys what the second jig is. Merrily Dance to the Quakers, right, which is a great, uh, a great Irish jig. Bear with me, I'll just tune the drum. <laughs> Actually, in lockdown last year, Seb spent a bit of time 
working on a farm in the northeast of Scotland um, and has taken a keen interest in Scottish music since he arrived at Strath. Uh, so he's going to come and give us Happy's in Heaven. <laughs> Crazy, I fear. Every day he mun hair but beef and your beer. Nay, may this he turn to the land for he darn your natural food, which is tatties and herring. Tatties and herring, tatties and herring, your natural food is the tatties and herring. When the quince wanting soldiers to effect with her force, it's not a the roast beef devour she goes, but she looks at the land of the brave and the daring, to the lads that were brought up on tatties and herring. Tatties and herring, tatties and herring, your natural food is the tatties and herring. We a pound in the week, ye mon fair be content. Yea, I got ten shillings for cliss and for rent. To sick tip it gin, ye it be to be sparing. A am seven and sixpence for tatties and herring. Tatties and herring, tatties and herring, a seven and sixpence for tatties and herring. Um, next up we have Struan, who's going to play a few tunes for us on his whistle. And when I was writing my notes, I seem to have missed the second half, so Struan's going to tell you what tunes he's playing too. Uh, so the first half is The Road to Erigate and the second half is Super Fun. Thank you. 
everyone performing tonight. Amazing. Um, sadly, we're getting towards the end of the night. Um, so the, uh, the penultimate uh, song that we're going to hear is from Julie. And it's uh, a traditional song that you'll all have heard of and you'll all have sung many a time called Old Lang Syne. Um, but you might not be able to sing along with this one because Julie's going to sing the, the more traditional uh, tune to Old Lang Syne, which is believed to be much closer to the tune that uh, Burns would have intended the, the, the lyrics to be sung to. Um, so, yeah, you, it won't be your usual uh, dancing, up dancing, <laughs> running towards us. Um, but please welcome Julie. examining and things and I've, I actually haven't heard this, this set at all and I'm really excited and when they practiced it this afternoon I made a point of leaving because um, it's been a long weekend of music and I thought this can be my big, uh, my big treat, my big surprise. Um, so I'm going to ask the folk band to come back up and they're going to sing Walking on the Waves which you might have heard from a, a, a great folk band called Skippinish. So,
see the headlines and the stands, and you wonder what lies in, or shape tomorrow's plans.